Hi guys, Totally Dubbed here and I just want to show you a small little fix or a guide. Now, what I'm going to show you, what I'm going to explain quickly before actually showing you is essentially when you press the on button of your PC, this happens on certain PCs whilst others it might not, the PC will power on, then power off, and then power on again. Now initially with my new build PC, and in case you're wondering what's inside my PC, do check out in the description below because there'll be a build video uh, on what I've done on my PC. Um, I initially thought it's to do with RAM incompatibility with the motherboard or something to do with the processor. Long story short, it's actually to do with a setting called ERP. Now, for those who are aware of what ERP does, essentially, um, it means that the lights on your motherboard or the lights on your RAM or whatever RGB type of things you might have will remain on with ERP sometimes disabled. However, if you do enable it, therefore it does switch off all the, all the extra lights. The downside of that is that it, the PC will do that kind of loop. So I'm going to show you, hopefully it will work. Um, ERP is enabled with S4 and S5 um, on there. So here we go. I'm going to press it on. So you saw that how it switched off, switched on, switched off basically. So in order to fix this or a guide in order to, to uh, overcome this is to go into the BIOS. Now what you will notice is that when this boot does occur it does take absolutely ages for it to actually respond. But um, once you once your PC does respond, then you want to spam your BIOS key. Um, in my case, it's the delete key. Now, uh, what we're going to do is go on to APM um, configuration. Now, your motherboard might be different. It might look different from yours. This is my Asus motherboard. Um, here you can see it says enabled S4 plus S5. What you want to do is disable that. Now, on an Asus motherboard, uh, specifically um, the one I've got, it enables Aura uh, when you have uh, that disabled. So in my case, I don't want any RGB lights, so I switch Aura off. And also, I want to go into Advanced, and I cannot remember for the life of me where this part is. Onboard devices, there we go. And then you've got the Q code LED function. For me, I don't need it because I'm okay with my PC, so I disable that. So there's literally no light uh, which should occur once I boot into Windows and or switch off my PC. Save changes and exit, and you'll be able to see there what it's um, essentially doing. And then your PC will reboot, um, and then it will boot into Windows, should I say. Now, I do want to quickly demonstrate this. If this has already fixed it, then happy days for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share all that good stuff. But what I want to do is just quickly demonstrate it. So I'm going to switch off my PC once the PC actually boots um, and then show you guys how the PC therefore responds as a normal PC should um, with ERP disabled. So this is just kind of like a follow-up vid um, and something that actually mentioned to Intel and Asus. Neither of them actually knew what was going on. They thought it was to do with RAM. It's actually a lot more simpler than it might seem. Uh, so right now I'm just going to um, switch off my PC. When it pops up, it always takes some time. So now the PC is going to shut down. You can see it shut off now. I'm just going to leave it at just a few extra seconds for all the fans to ramp down and the power to go through the system so that it's properly shut off. And then I'll be able to show you guys um, how it's going. Now, I, I should also say that a uh, follow up video of um, overclocking the PC will be coming soon. Um, and also, um, later down, maybe a couple of months' time, I'll do a how am I getting on with my PC and uh, a comparison to my old um, i7 3770K. So now let's switch it on. You'll be able to see it switched on straight away without any switching off and switching on again. So it switches on straight away and you can see the PC responds a lot faster now with ERP disabled and it will boot a lot quicker. So that is the fix. Hopefully this has helped you guys um, in order to figure out you know, if you've got the problem. If you have the problem and this has helped, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe and favorite and share all that good stuff. Obviously, 
Um, sharing will be helpful for those who are wondering about how to fix this uh, issue. Um, and for those who are aware of the issue and you already knew it and you might think it's a stupid thing, well, I've been handling with PCs for the last seven, eight years. It's the first time I've ever come across that switching on and off thing other than being a RAM incompatibility issue. So I was very pleasantly surprised that just the simple setting in a BIOS basically um, fixed it. So there you go, guys. I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.